Hey guys, what's up? My name is Calvin. I'm from Germany and I have a new tutorial for you. I have a retouching tutorial for you and with this Photoshop technique you are able to turn a very, let's say, boring image into this amazing shot with this beautiful sunset. And the best thing is you don't have to spend uh, too much time in retouching. You can create this effect within five seconds. Yes, you are right in five seconds. You do not need a selection. You do not need a mask. All you need is the knowledge and the gradient map here, what you can see. But my goal in this tutorial is not to explain you the fast way. Let me explain you a little bit more in detail why this technique uh, will work, that you can understand everything and then you can be creative with your images. All right, the first thing, what you need that this technique will work is a similar shot, what I uh, shot here. This is a shot of my family and uh, let's take a look at the image. The image have a lot of uh, bright pixels and a lot of dark pixels and this is very important. So it's perfect when you have a backlight shot. Uh, in this case, let's call this shot a silhouette shot. And uh, this is very important. The trees here in the foreground, it's all black, very dark. And the background is very white. This kind of shot is perfect for this technique. So you have to search now if you have a similar shot. If you don't have a shot like this, go outside and shoot a similar shot. And then try to apply this technique. So the next thing what you need to create this effect is the gradient map tool here. It's an adjustment layer, what you can find here in the panel. And this is very important that you choose the gradient map. Don't choose a gradient fill. This is very important. Many people think that's the same. Let me explain you the difference between the gradient map and a gradient fill. So first of all, I apply a gradient map. Let me click inside here to see all the presets and let me choose this one this red and green gradient map. And now you can see the image looks a little bit different. All right, to compare it, let me apply here a gradient fill. Go to layer, new fill layer, and right here is the gradient fill. Click OK, click inside, and choose here red and green. And now you can compare the two layers to, to figure out what's, what's going on here. All right. The gradient fill um, will apply all the colors, what you can see here, into the image. It depends uh, what kind of style do you uh, choose. Right here we have linear, you can also choose radial, um, it depends. But you apply the color, what, what is inside of this gradient, on the whole image. And right here, when you have a gradient map, you can see you do not apply um, the red and the green color onto the whole image. The difference is the color, what you can see on the left side of the scale here, just gets affected on the dark pixels. So everything what is dark in the image, you can see here the dark pixels, the black pixels now get the red color. And everything what was very bright, the white pixels now are green. So all you have to know is everything what is on the left here on the gradient map will affect on the black pixels and everything what is on the right, in this case the green color, will affect on the bright, on the light pixel, on the white pixels. Of course you can reverse this. But the question is now how to get this kind of effect. So let me delete these two layers and let me apply now the gradient map, what I use or what I recommend to create this beautiful sunset effect. So click on the gradient map, click inside here to get to the presets and right here you need this preset. I call it the rainbow uh, preset. When you click on this, you can see you have the blue color, the red color and the yellow color. And now you can see we have this beautiful sky but everything in front here, the trees are blue. The reason is, I told you, everything what is on the left will affect on the black pixels. And 
this part of the image, the black pixels, we need this black pixels black. So what you have to do is click inside, double click here and change the blue color into the black color and we are done. That's it. This is the very fast way, but there is another way what you can apply. Let me do it again. So choose gradient map, click inside the rainbow gradient map, click OK. And what you can do now is you can change the blend mode from normal to multiply. And this is the second way what you can use. And both ways are very fast. You do not need more than five seconds. All right. But if you still don't like to work with the gradient map, I don't know why, but if you don't like the gradient map, if you like to work with the gradient fill, let me show you a third way to create this effect, but this time not with the gradient map. Let's choose a gradient fill. So go to layer, choose new fill layer, gradient, and right here, choose the blend mode multiply. Click OK. And now change um, the gradient fill into your um, preset here, the rainbow preset, I call it rainbow. And now you have to do some changes. At the moment, we have the style linear. Ch uh, change it here from linear to radial. And of course, the, the sun is not blue, the sun is yellow. So what we have to do is we have to reverse this gradient fill and then we have to change the scale because we don't like to see this blue color. So click here on the scale um, and change it. You have to figure out what kind of numbers uh, do you need. But in this case, I think, uh, let me choose here something around 300%. And then you will get the same effect. But you need much more clicks. I recommend the gradient map. Take a look. How many clicks? One, two, three, four, and five. Five clicks, five seconds, and you will have a beautiful sunset. Hey, guys, I'm very excited to see your results, your images, and I hope you will like this technique. Feel free to share the video. Um, to other Photoshop guys, photographers. And if you have some final images, feel free to post it on my Facebook site, on my Facebook uh, wall. You can find the link to my Facebook account uh, in the description of the video. Thank you guys for watching, having a great time. I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Bye.